Hello and welcome back to StarCraft 2. Yes, I in fact decided to play a ladder game or two, and this was the first one. It didn't go too well, um, but I did win. Okay, so I'll, I'll put that spoiler out there right now. Uh, this is the first time I play a 1v1 in like, I don't even know how long. It must have been like two and a half months or three, a long time. So it's pretty embarrassing. I decided to record this uh, from my point of view again. I'm running the game at 720p, so I don't get any like... FPS loss or anything like that. There was some banter here. You can either read that or try ignore it because it's bad. Um, so yeah, I played the game at 720p and around medium graphics or something like that. Don't know what I'm going to call this series. I can go and call it something like Lumen Ladders or something like that. Maybe. Hmm? Yes, I like the sound of that. Except my nickname is not Lumen. Hmm. Gonna have to think about changing that sometime. Who knows? Anyway, okay. So I've got a Zerg versus Zerg here. I'm playing against Val. I think it said Val there. I'm not sure. Or is it Vi? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Okay, but um, he is Zerg, and I absolutely hate playing against Zerg. My Zerg versus Zerg is probably like the most finicky, icky matchup of the lot, and I just I find it terrible, especially the start of the game. So as you can see, I decided to go for a ten pool. Now. I don't know how to do proper 10 pulls, so what I do is I just, on 10 supply, put the pull down, then I wait for some minerals, get the, get enough for the overlord, get an overlord out, get one or two more drones out, you'll see now, and, um, and then just get a couple of zerglings out. Now, going into this, I had no idea what he was doing, and I, I had a, a huge lack of scouting in this game. Um, not a new thing, if you've ever watched any of my games before, it's like, the few things that bother me, or that I do wrong every time, or scouting. I don't scout enough. Okay, and it's it's like a, it's it's a constant thing for me. Okay, it's gonna take long for me to get used to to doing that properly. I gotta play a lot of games and I gotta do it consistently. So scouting and um, and building drones. Haha! <laughs> surprise, surprise. That's like the bane of all zergs out there. Um, so my my idea here was just to get eight zerglings. That was it. Just eight. Um, and do a bit of damage if I can early on, and I, I failed so hard, okay? I was fumbling like someone who's never played before when I got to his base. I could have done so much better, because I caught him with his pants down. I clearly did. When I got to his base here, um, you'll see in just a second, but he, he, got, a, he got, uh, got wind of what I was trying to do here with his, uh, with his drone entering my base. He saw my zerglings coming by. Um, I'm gonna guess he might, he might have even thought I was doing a six pool or something like that. Luckily for me, I wasn't doing that. Um, I decided I was gonna go for a more economical ten pool. I mean, I don't know if, if it's a common thing already at the moment, but I feel it's a nice way of starting. Not that I know if it's a good way or not, but I, I like it. But look now when I get to his base, he, I caught him with his pants down. He had two spine crawlers that were only a, a third of the way done. Um, a bunch of drones to, to do battle with my zerglings. And I just feel I sort of messed it up a little. His pool had ended, finished just after mine, uh, just after my zerglings got there. So I think I could have done a bit better here. Um, I don't know. Okay, maybe I couldn't have. I got one or two drones there. I killed a zergling. I took down that spine crawler, so it's good. And during all of that, I got my expansion halfway up. So I felt that I might have just put him on the back foot enough to... I don't know, <laughs> silly, but leave me alone for at least a minute or two so I could drone up, get my expansion up and running, and then just outpace him in, in the macro sense. Uh, I don't know if that worked. Okay, I didn't watch the replay afterwards, which I probably should have done, but I didn't. I just came straight into this into Vegas now to record the, the sound on this. Um, but what I did here was I just got a couple of Zerglings out, because I thought, okay, he just beat me down. He had a couple more Zerglings out. He probably built a few extra, and I might should probably expect a counter-attack here. So I got a couple of Zerglings out. I checked my drones there. I didn't have enough yet. Um, and I was considering <laughs> everything you can see. I cycled through all the buildings here, not quite sure what to get. Um, but then I decided, okay, no. Uh, what would FXO Sheth do? Uh, no, no, sorry. What would Spanishua do? Sorry. And that's just you know not get gas yet. So uh, I get to confuse with the player's name. Sorry. But yeah, I'm not gonna get gas. I I thought you know I'd rather just drone up a little bit. Um, get a couple of zerglings out, get a few spine crawlers down, use my queens to their fullest, um, and that's that. Okay, and then from there decide what I want to do based on what I saw from him. But it didn't go that way. It went interestingly, but it didn't go that way. Um, <laughs> it was a very interesting game indeed. So, now I decided to get two gas there because the reason for that is, uh, at the same time, the reason for that is I, d I realized that 
he was probably getting speed on his zerglings um, because I did in fact see a gas going up in his base. So if he, if I was stuck without metabolic boost, then it would have been bad for me. He could have just done these runbys. But then I sort of <laughs> I had like a whole bunch of ideas at the same time, like a big jumble in my head, and it was bad because. You can see I didn't start getting gas immediately, and the reason for that is because I decided against it. I decided, okay, I'm going to split my Zerglings up. I'm going to sort of cover the whole ramp so he can't just run in here, barge in and start killing my, my stuff. Um, I thought to myself, I'd rather get a couple of crawlers down. I wanted three in total, eventually. Um, and then I'd just defend that way. And my, my game plan right now was, okay, I'm ahead of him. I, I think I'm ahead of him because at, uh, he just got his expansion down. He just threw it down now, um, and mine was already up and running. So I had this had this lead, and I thought, okay, I'm going to abuse this, and I'm going to do something totally crazy that one doesn't really expect in Zerg versus Zerg, and that's go Mutalisks. Um, now, oh, as you can see, I'm rusty. I'm misclicking on things. Um, I'm making silly little mistakes, wh all the while trying to spam to look cool. Okay, I, I do that. Yes, everyone does that. Get over it. So. Um, I, I got my metabolic boost at last, because my the, the sort of bulk of my army was going to be Zerglings and Mutalisks, that's it. And I kept an eye on what he had in terms of army size, and I expected Roaches coming from him, um, but I didn't scout enough. Okay, so that's a big boo-boo from me, I didn't scout enough. So then I decided, because I still only see Zerglings out, because he's only still on one base, um, I thought I'll be able to hold this with the spine crawlers and the Lings that I have, and I can risk it. Get four gas down, drone up, and um, there you can see my last crawler going down now. And that's a pretty good defense, actually. Three spine crawlers this early in the game. Um, I'm actually checking my drones. Oh man, I should pause this here just to sort of uh, bask in that goodness. I was checking the amount of drones I had there. Um, generally, if you have two full lines, you select all your drones. That's two full lines. That's eight plus eight, so 16 of them. That's the that's a good amount. That's two per mineral patch on each uh, base. That's a good amount. It's not perfect because you could add another eight there, um, and that would be optimal. But I think two two per two two per base is good. Like two per patch per base. Sorry, I'm really messing that one up. Here I'm just trying to get a bit of more scouting. I want. I thought, okay, this is Zerg versus Zerg. He's probably not going to have any anti air out for a long time. So I sent my overlords all over the place. I didn't do a good job at that. I didn't want to spread the creep because because I was going for mutalisks and speedlings. I felt that you know. What's the point? If I spread the creep, it's only going to help him get to my base faster. And I kept checking his base, and I thought to myself, okay, this guy's not that great. Sorry, Val. Val Kilmer. Um, I don't mean that, really. Like, I just mean that he doesn't... Look at the... He didn't have any drones on his natural yet, so I was expecting a lot more than that. Um, and it just wasn't there. So, uh, I finally got my lair up, as you see. And then I decided, okay, I'm going to put my Spire down at the bottom because I did spot that Overseer just to the right um, at the bottom of my main. I wonder if I'm going to scroll over there anytime soon. But I knew it was there and I knew he was going to take a look around, take a look around my main soon. So um, I didn't want to put it there. That's generally where you want to check for tech. Uh, he, did, he got a bit sneaky with me a bit later on. Uh, and <laughs> I, I feel pretty bad that I didn't sort of prepare better for it. But, you know, regardless, I heard that, that, that morphin sound there, I don't know if you guys heard it now. I thought, oh goodness, banelings are coming, oh my, oh no, ah, I was stressing. Okay, but then I saw the overseer there, and then I was like, okay, that's, that's fine, it's nothing, not a problem. And then he even moved away, and that was like, okay, bonus, he's not even going to look in my base. So, I was, I was totally happy with that. I thought, okay, changeling, I can handle. Then I had a look around his base, and that was sort of a, a sigh of relief. He had a lair, okay, that's bad for me, but at the same time, I only spotted a Roach Warren and an Evo, uh, Evo Chamber, okay, he's got both his gas running fine, not a problem, um, but the most important thing there was I only saw the Roach Warren, so he was going to go Roaches, that's your general, you know, that's what you want to go with, with Zerg against Zerg, so, <laughs> another mistake I made here, uh, I was saving up a lot of minerals and gas, okay, so that's great, I queued up, I think it was 14 Mutalisks at, in one go, that's crazy. That's a lot of mutalisks. That'll catch someone by surprise, no problem. But the mistake I made was I didn't use my minerals enough. So from here on out, I actually had way more minerals than I had gas, and I wasn't spending it fast enough. Then I even lost my expansion that I was trying to throw up there because I was just not paying attention enough. Um, so not great, not optimal. Now, my thinking here was, you know, I could go in right now, possibly win the game, sure. But I knew he hadn't seen my mutalisks yet. So... Um, my thinking once again was just 
why not just, you know, poke around a bit with the Zerglings, not reveal Mutalisks yet, hope he doesn't see them yet, try get plus one attack on them, try get more of them out, and, um, and go from there. Try make sort of a big push. Now what I did was I immediately moved them back because I knew those Zerglings were coming towards my base. Uh, I had a look around his ramp, and again, sigh of relief. I see spine crawlers, I see roaches, and I see some Zerglings. That's it. Um... That's great. Perfect for me. I was happy with that. Uh, I grouped my mutalists. I'm waiting. My, my plus one attack is halfway. Uh, so it's about, what, 70 seconds or something to go to like an attack. I'm not even sure about the times. I'm guessing here. Uh, again, 1,700 minerals. Not cool. Uh, I was struggling to spend it. I was thinking to myself, okay, um, just going to put on a macro hatch here. Get a bunch of zerglings. But then again, zerglings are not uh, good at, uh, like, they're not a good mineral sink at all. Overlords are a great mineral sink. But, you know, I was, <laughs> I was doing okay. I didn't need that many overlords. And here, again, <laughs> I somehow just sent my entire group of zerglings down to the bottom to uh, to deal with that one zergling of his, because it was as pesky as it was. Um, but again, I wasn't spending those minerals, so big mistake there. Something I can work on, sure, but I was sort of stressing out already, and I was, I was in the heat of the moment here, uh, not really paying attention to that at all. Uh, I could have queued up... And that spawn more overlords thing was coming up a lot. I did in fact spawn a ton of overlords, up to 180 population. Uh, now I could pump a lot of zerglings out. But it was time. It's time to attack. So the mutalists are moving out. Um, I didn't want to get caught sort of in one position too long, so I decided not to even really go for um, the overlords or overseers or anything like that. I sort of flew my mutalisks right over his overlord, uh, which was a bit of a boo-boo again. It's like, uh, hey, yeah, my mutalisks are. I'm attacking you now. Don't you want to prepare quickly? Um, so I thought to myself, okay, this is not working out. The zerglings are not going to get in there. So I just left my mutalisks there to attack move. I saw nothing except that one corruptor. I focused that down, and then I just let them to attack move. But here's the mistake I made. See, I didn't sort of anticipate this. Uh, I should have. I didn't have enough zerglings to deal with it either. I should have known it was coming. Um, and I should have maybe dealt with it a little bit better than I did. I sent my entire group of zerglings back, which was fine, because I had all these mutalisks here with plus one attack to deal with what he had. And I did eventually deal with that little group that he had over there, so it's fine. Um, and I felt that, you know, by this point, I had won the game. Doesn't matter if he counter attacks or not, because my ramp is pretty well fortified. Um, I got a ton of mutalisks in his base. As he produces the Corruptors, I'm taking them out. Uh, I was pretty happy. I was panicking a little bit here, getting crawlers down everywhere, but there you go. Vel has left the game, and I gotta say, luck strike for me. So, um, he was Diamond as well as me. Um, I'm still in Diamond League. Nothing really fancy, nothing really special, not highly ranked or anything like that, but it was fun, and I might, st I might start playing ladder games more often. So, if you guys enjoy this series, let me know. I love talking about the games that I win or lose. Um, so, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And uh, happy Starcrafting.